Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. Today I want to talk about the next generation 2023 Toyota 4Runner, which should come out about a year from now on, sometime summer of the 2022 calendar year, to be introduced as a 2023 model year. It's not too far into the future, so it's kind of exciting to talk about it, even though there has been no spy photo or leaked photo of the new 4Runner, I have a pretty good feeling of what it's going to look like and what kind of features and technical options it will have, including the powertrain, the suspension, the transmission, and so forth. But for now, I want to show you some rendering I've created to get some feedback from you if you think you like them and whether or not you think the new Forerunner will look like that. Now, just as a backdrop, I am a longtime Forerunner owner. So I've owned the 2016, 2017, 2018, and a 2019 Forerunner a variety of different models and types, everything from the Limited to a TRD Pro. So very familiar with the 4Runner and I especially love the fact that it's still built in Japan at the Tahara factory where I have been many times. It is one of the best factories in the world and that's where the 4Runner is built alongside Lexus LX and the Land Cruiser. So it's a very special SUV in many ways because it's still body on the frame. It's still very much a truck style SUV and therefore it's very different from a unitized body SUV like the Highlander. The 4Runner will be based on the TNGA-F platform which is shared with the Tundra, the Land Cruiser, the Sequoia and eventually the Lexus LX and the GX as well. So it's a very important platform because so many models will share that TNGA-F platform. Uh, but anyhow, the 4Runner will retain the body on the frame design and will continue to be built in Tara factory. Of course, the big question is the engine and the suspension and the transmission. Before I go too far though, let me show you the renderings I've created. I came up with two designs. Let me know which one you like better. So one is based on basic look and design from the new Land Cruiser 300 series. The other one derives the design elements from the, the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. Both are possible ways that the 4Runner might look like. I'm leaning toward the uh, design that is more of a Land Cruiser look. It definitely looks way better, but it's possible that the new 4Runner will have more of the Tundra design elements as well. So it could be a combination of both. Let me know again which of these two do you think will be the 2023 Forerunner design? Uh, I think the Land Cruiser one is the one that looks more real to me and I think is closer to what uh, the final version will look like. And the one that is based on the Tundra design, this one right here, actually looks pretty good too, but it's kind of awkward looking and so I'm not too happy with that one. So my next project will be to merge these two together and come up with a third iteration or third design for the 2023 Forerunner. But for now, you've got a couple of ideas to think about, but I'm curious about your feedback so I can continue to incorporate that into my design and come up with a third, fourth, or even fifth iteration as I did with the 2022 Tundra. Now, if you recall, the rendering I did for the Tundra turned out to be very accurate. Uh, it's the one that I produced about six months ago. So I'm hoping that uh, as I continue to work on the 4Runner rendering, you'll become more and more accurate and perhaps several months before the introduction, I can come up with something that's pretty close to the real one. So let me work on that. And in terms of the basic powertrain, the basic suspension and so forth, there's lots of speculations out there. So the biggest question of course is, would the 4Runner retain the current six cylinder engine? I don't think it will. However, in the new Land Cruiser 300 series, not in Japan, but markets outside Japan, they decided to continue offering that four liter engine. So that engine will stay within the Toyota family. So it's possible that could still carry on to the 4Runner. But my feeling and my prediction is that the new 4Runner will migrate to a 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder engine that is now going into the new 2022 Lexus NX. It's got good, uh, good power, plenty of torque, it is the newest engine in the Toyota slash Lexus lineup and it can be used for a truck application or at least an SUV application. So I suspect that might be the engine that's going to go in as a baseline for the new 4Runner. Uh, they could surprise me and maybe keep the either the existing uh, 4 liter 6 cylinder engine or share the same engine that's in the current Tacoma which is a 3.5 liter 6 cylinder engine. But my bet is on the turbo 4 cylinder engine. 
And then I am sure they will also offer a hybrid system because that's the direction that Toyota is going. So the 4Runner will definitely offer a hybrid at that time. And it will likely be the same hybrid system that's in the Highlander, which uses the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with two motors. And uh, that's the power plant that's used in the Highlander. It's also the same one used in the RAV4. So I would expect that's the one that is going to go into the next generation 4Runner, which is a little bit unfortunate because uh, I've driven uh, almost every possible configuration of Toyota using that, uh, using that hybrid system. And I think it's a bit underpowered, for example, in the new Highlander compared to the previous Highlander, which had a, a V6 engine with two electric motors for the hybrid system. I think that was a better match for a large SUV like the Highlander. So uh, would it would have been nice if the new 4Runner actually used uh, a six-cylinder engine with a hybrid system versus the four-cylinder with the hybrid system. But those are details we don't know for sure, and we'll find out definitely. And could there be a plug-in hybrid? I think Toyota's plan is to eventually offer uh, either a plug-in hybrid or full EV on every SUV and truck out there uh, because it will save a tremendous amount of fuel and of course they will help them to meet some of the government regulations. So that is very possible in the new 4Runner. And by the way, the transmission, if the 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder becomes the base engine, will be eight speed transmission. And then the suspension system will probably carry some of the components and design from the Land Cruiser because Land Cruiser is being phased out of the US. I think the 4Runner has to move up in terms of its capability for off-roading and will therefore adopt some of the Land Cruiser components and Land Cruiser engineering. Like all of the new Toyota and Lexus model coming up in the next year or so, uh, the new 4Runner will adopt obviously a whole new interior, a new infotainment system, and a host of other technical and safety features. But I'm going to do another video about why you should wait for the new 4Runner instead of buying the current one, even though there is nothing wrong with the current 4Runner. So watch out for that video because I'm going to give you five reasons why you should wait for a new 4Runner instead of buying the current one, mainly because it is only one year away approximately. But let me know your feedback and I will continue to talk about the 4Runner as we progress through this year and hopefully we get more information coming out of Japan. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. So much more information to come about Toyota and rest of the lineup too. So keep an eye on my channel. Again, thank you so much.